Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q and in today's video we are going to show you how to get volume in a Z hair, okay? So if you want to know how to get a volume in a Z hair, then keep watching. Like I wanted to do this remake of my most popular video on my channel. You guys love my hair videos. I do target high porosity hair just because that's what I have. I have fine thin hair. That's what I have. And in today's video, we are going to target fine thin hair. So get ready. Before we get into this video though, I would love for you guys to subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already and hit the notification bell. It's going to notify you that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You're going to get the premieres and when I have a, a giveaway, which one is coming up soon because you want to hit the notification bell because it's going to let you know whenever I post that video. So, just wanted to say that. I just want to go over some tips on how to get voluminous hair on fine thin hair i want to share a couple of tips this is not going to be a long video at all but i wanted to do an upload like a reload of that video that video is so old i want to say it's like four years old you guys so you can go check that one out my hair was a lot it was a lot shorter but you're gonna see i have some tips on getting some voluminous hair so without further ado let's get into this video let's talk about fine thin hair because that's what i have I have high porosity hair. I'm coming with a video of how I determine how my hair was high porosity, how you can like some tips without doing like the water test because sometimes y'all that is off and on. It's a hit and miss, but I want to show you guys how I get my voluminous hair. And first of all, let's talk about my hair. My hair is high porosity. It's fine. It's thin but it's fine and thin so the the strand itself is thin but the density which means the spaces between each strand is closer together rather than further apart okay if your hair is low density that means that the strands are further away and if you're high density it just means that you have a lot of them in there which means that you probably have thick hair just a quick, you know, cheat sheet on that. I wanted to share some tips with you guys on achieving volume on fine thin hair and how I do it. Just some updated things. A lot of things in that video four years ago, I still hold true to. And the first step is to use an oil rather than a butter. I talked about that in the video. Butters, you know, you have to emulsify them and some sometimes in your hand they don't melt rather right, right away and emulsify smoothly. And when you go down the hair strand, it will skip and some parts will be moisturized and other parts not so much. But my hair loves oils. I tend to get a cohesive moisturized strand when I use an oil and oils to me are more lightweight. You're going to tend to use less of an oil and more of a butter. Butters are thicker, they're heavier. And so if you have fine thin hair, you want to be able to, to allow your hair not to be weighed down because when it's weighed down, it's going to be flat. You're not going to get the volume. Okay. So that's the reason why I use an oil over a butter and you definitely want the oil to be more on the ends than the root if you put it more on the root you it's going to be flat it's going to be toward to your head scalp you want it to be voluminous you might you want it to be moisturized you don't want it to look dry but those ends is the oldest part of your hair and that's the part that you want the oil to be mostly on another tip is to stretch your hair and to apply the products when your hair is damp or dry that tip what it's going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to see the volume in your hair and then style another tip is to have like a pick or to have some type of lifting mechanism from the root you want to lift the hair off of the root and it's going to cause more volume and you're going to have more of a round full look rather rather than it being flat against the scalp okay so you definitely want to take a pick and i do have a couple of videos of how to achieve volume on stretched hair 
Um, I will leave that link down below or in, over here in the iCards. And I talked about this in that video four years ago, is that I tend to do my twist outs. I like to stretch and twist. So I will twist the hair. I will take a bobby pin and an inch from the end. And I can come with a video with that. Comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see it. And that is twisting the hair and stretching the hair. And I actually got that tip from Natural 85. Y'all know she's the OG, but I absolutely love that. And I tend to get volume. My hair tends to be stretched and it dries that way. And I tend to get a lot of volume. I get more volume on twist outs like I have in my hair today than on a wash and go. Wash and go, my hair is more spirally and it's shorter so if you want more volume or you want to show more volume you want to have more length and more it's going to allow you to stretch your hair and you're going to see more volume and roundness in the hair strand that's if you have fine thin hair by the way yeah those are all my tips not a long video right thanks so much for watching you guys don't forget to subscribe if you hadn't already and check out my other videos yeah i'll leave a couple over here and you can check them out thanks so much for watching i want you to get hooked and be a part of the melissa q tribe in 2019 thanks so much for watching guys peace i'll see you in the next one